Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about random variable and probability distributions. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about the basics of probability. From now onwards, we are moving to probability distributions. So it is very, very important to understand the concepts of probability distributions. Because most of the applications, we are going to use these concepts. Please watch our previous classes and come back here the link for the playlist is provided in the description below coming to today's class so because this is the first class on the random variable and probability distributions we are going very slow so first we'll, we are going to understand the definition of random variable random variable a random variable is a function that assigns a real number to each sample point in the sample space of the random experiment so clearly understand that it is going to assign a real number to each sample point in the sample space so this point remember it you will understand when we discuss about the uh, this random variable example because with this definition we are not going to understand the concept so random variable is denoted by capital numbers it is given as capital x the value that is present in the random variable is given by small x now with example we are going to understand the definition example in the experiment of tossing two coins what is the sample space this is our sample space head 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 tail tail head tail tail now consider a random variable x which gives number of heads okay our random variable x is going to give number of heads so x contains zero heads one head two heads this is what the range of x our random variable contains x contains values either zero or one or two this is what the range of random variable x so from the definition it was given that a random variable is a function that assigns a real number to each sample point in the sample space each sample point in the sample space means if you take a sample point from the sample space head head what is the random variable it is denoting two it is containing two heads head tail what is the random variable it is denoting one it contains one head for each sample point in the sample space we are going to assign a value real number that is what random variable means x is going to assign for each sample point in the sample space we are going to assign a value assign a real number that is what we call it as random variable so probability of x is equal to zero means zero heads what is the probability this one is the probability zero heads means tail tail so one by four probability of x is equal to one means these two are the possibilities 2 by 4 probability of x is equal to 2 means means two heads is 1 by 4 this is how we find the probability values for the random variable x now coming to the another random variable we have defined y number of tails means the point you have to understand it is not necessary to mention only one random variable in the random experiment you can mention any number of random variables that is the point you have to understand we can give more than one random variable for the given random experiment now coming to the next one probability distribution or simply we call it as distribution giving a set of possible values of random variable x and its probability values we call it as probability distribution so it is very easy to understand giving set of possible values of random variable x and its probability values simply say it as same experiment random experiment we are considering here x is equal to x means here what are the values that present for our x random variable 0 1 2 so giving set of possible values of random variable x what are the possible values 0 1 2 and its probabilities f of x is equal to probability of x is equal to x uh, small x is given as a for 0 1 by 4 for 1 2 by 4 for 2 1 by 4 giving like this we call it as probability distribution 
you know coming examples they are going to give the probability distribution so you have to understand the terminologies what's probability distribution means that's why for the first class we are discussing about uh, what's random variable and the uh, probability distribution hope you understand the concept of random variable and probability distribution if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you